guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. For today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup haul of all of the makeup that I have gotten over the past couple weeks. It's in this box right here. Put it in here every time I come home when I get something new. I also have tried out a few of the products, so I am kind of able to tell you my first thoughts on it. So the makeup that I have recently gotten is either from Sephora, Ulta, Colourpop, or e.l.f. So if you'd like to see some of the makeup that I've recently gotten, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with Sephora. I did get the least amount of things from there, so I will start with them. First thing I got is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. Never tried it before, and right now my cleanser is just... It's just okay. So I wanted to try something new. I have heard a ton of people talk about it, and they've pretty much all been great things. So I have high hopes for this. All right, so next I finally did get one of the glow kits from Anastasia. I got it in the color Gleam. This one actually I don't think is sold at Sephora anymore. I actually had to get mine off eBay, but I did want this one. It does have the lighter shades, um, and I do have fairer skin, so I wanted the lighter shades, so I got this guy. Next from Sephora, I got the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Longwear Lipstick in the shade Chocolate Honey. I swatched this at Ulta, but they did not have it, so I had to go to Sephora and get it. It is such a pretty shade. It dries really beautifully. I don't have too many good solid brown shades, and I really liked this. It wasn't too brown, but it was brown enough to where I didn't really have anything like it, so I grabbed this. Okay, next I did get the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. This was sold at Sephora, but I did not know that it was limited edition, so I did not grab it at the very beginning. And then when I went to go buy it, they did not have it anymore. So I actually had to go to eBay for this as well. And it was brand new, once again, just like the Glow Kit was, and it was actually a little bit cheaper. So if something is limited edition, definitely check eBay. I was pleasantly surprised. So I grabbed this, um, and I have such a hard time committing to palettes because a lot of times I don't like all the shades. I'll just like four or five of them, not like 12 of them. I love the shades in it. I love warm toned browns and pinks. I do have kind of blue green eyes and I feel like if I wear warmer eyeshadow shades it pulls more blue which I really like. So I did get this. I really really like it. I think the shades are gorgeous. I also did repurchase the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown gotten this a ton of times. I just needed a new one, so I grabbed this. Alrighty, let's move on to Ulta. So, first things first at Ulta, I just needed some new tweezers. I just got the Sally Hansen Expert Slant Tip Tweezer. Just average tweezers, nothing too exciting. And then I did get a few repurchases at Ulta as well. I needed two of the powders that I really like. First one is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I got it in the shade Creamy Beige. I was completely out of this. I, I use this or this to usually set my entire face, and I ran out of both of them at the same time. So I did get the Rimmel Stay Matte, and then I also got the L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade M3. This reminds me a lot of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I use this a lot on days I just do concealer and some powder, and on those days I always use this. So I really like this. I run out of it so quickly, so just a couple of repurchases on these. So in my last video, I did talk about a lip product that I was really liking, and it was the Revlon Lip Stain. The one that I did include in last video, it was not a matte shade, but it, I decided to pick up two matte shades. Let me see. Um, it is in the shade 225 and 255. So like both of these, they're just a long wear lip stain without looking like you have a ton of lipstick on. So I really like these. They're bomb. I'm not sure if I love this shade, but you know, what can you do? Okay, so next up I did get the NYX Wonder Pencil, and I got it in the shade Medium. I have the shade Light right now, but sometimes I feel like it's just a little too white. I don't. Sometimes I don't like a white line, you know, on my waterline, so I got the shade Medium to see if that would work a little better. So I believe it's a pretty new brand. It's the brand called Essence. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it a ton, maybe within the last couple weeks, but I'm pretty sure it's new at Ulta. I'd never seen it there before. So it was, I think, like $250 or... $2.99 for this um, Essence Silky Touch Blush and I did there was actually one that was already open at Ulta so I felt it and it's pretty great I actually really like it it's not a ton a ton of color payoff but I actually kind of like that sometimes when I'm going for a more subtle blush tone I don't really like having to like dip you know my brush in super lightly shake it off sometimes you know a nice blush that doesn't really have a ton of pigment to it is kind of the way to go for me so I'm excited to try this and then also from the Essence brand, I think this was 2 to $3 as well. 
It says it's a liquid lipstick in the shade 02 Beauty Secret, I do believe. Um, it's kind of just a gloss. It's not really pigmented much. I feel like it's pigmented on my hand, but when I put it on my lips, I put it on just by itself. And it was super, super sheer, which is fine if that's what you're going for. But I mean, it was $2.50, so I just thought, why not try it? And then speaking of new lip products, um, the Color Jolt by Maybelline have been a huge hype over the last few weeks. So the shade by Essence I thought was pretty similar, so I just kind of wanted to see how they compared. Obviously the Color Jolt, you know, is much more pigmented. But one thing I really, really dislike about the packaging is I've swatched this one time. I don't know if you can tell, but when I squeeze it, there is so much air in here. There is so not as much product as it looks, and this is already a pretty small little tube, so that was kind of a bummer, but again, it's a good lip product. I have used it one time, like I said, so it's pretty good. The shade that I got is 05 Stripped Down. All right, and then also from Ulta, I did pick up another hand food hydrating hand cream. I do have really dry skin and I also have very dry hands. Every single time I wash my hands, whether I'm you know at home or out and about, I have to have lotion to put on after, and this hand food stuff is Amaze. This is super hydrating, super thick, so I love this. It was just a repurchase, but worth your money. So I can't remember if I got this at Ulta or Sephora, but it is sold at both places. It is the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Finally wanted to try this out. I've tried many, many, many concealers at the drugstore. I did mention in my last video I do have very dry under eyes, and apparently this is supposed to be good for dry under eyes. So I wanted to try this. I am wearing it today. I don't... Just from a first impression standpoint, I don't notice a huge difference. Um, my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is really great for my dry under eyes as well. I don't notice a huge, huge difference, but again, I've only used it one time, so don't mark my words on that at all. But just so far, that was my very, very first impression from this morning. Oh! So yeah, I'm excited to try this a little bit more. Okay, so next up, we do have the products that I got from e.l.f.com. I feel like 80% of their products aren't even sold in store, so I wanted to go online, make an order, and see what fun things I can find. I wanted to try the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. I did get it in the shade Moonlight Pearls. It, I think it is the lightest shade. It's more like a white pearly finish. Um, let me just say that I am very glad this was $4. I've used it. I have tried to use it. I have tried to use it the last two days, and there is just hardly any color payoff. I feel like for like a 13 year old who just needs like a super, super, super subtle highlight, this actually would be pretty good for, but I like to like glow to the heavens, so this is just not happening for me at all. So not a fan of this. I'm very glad it was only four bucks. <laughs> okay, so next up I did get the e.l.f. Small Stippling Brush. I really like stippling brushes to apply my highlighter actually, just small ones, obviously not the big ones, but just the small ones because I don't feel like it packs on color right here. It kind of puts it all in the area because I hate when there's a stripe. That's really what I try to avoid on the daily. And I just feel like this brush gives me pretty good application. So I like this. I just, okay, last from e.l.f. I did get the hydrating under eye primer. Like I mentioned, I do have very dry hands, lips, and also under eyes. I have heard that the Pure Cosmetics, like the under eye gel, super good for your under eyes, makes your concealer apply great. But I think it was only $3, so I wanted to try it just to see if this can help out my under eyes. Oh, I lied. I totally lied. So I got a couple things from CVS. I got the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Glow. I love Milani blushes and bronzers. Their blushes are my favorite favorite and then a bronzer I have I haven't had a bronzer by them in quite a while and this is in the shade glow I feel like this will be a good bronzer topper not necessarily my whole bronzer because it does have good chunks of gold in it but I, so I just think I'll use it just to kind of have an extra glow on the face which I love so I'm excited to try this ago it is the NYC super smooth loose face powder I have the makeup forever loose face powder the white translucent one I don't like it, like at all. It makes my under eyes so dry. I feel like it emphasizes the dryness under there, which I don't really appreciate. So not a fan of that. So, so I wanted to try a new loose powder and I've heard a couple things about this. So I'm excited to try this one. So next up on Amazon, I did get the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the green shade. Naturally, I do have really red skin. I don't know if it's considered rosacea. I haven't been to a dermatologist about it, but even when I have, you know, a completely smooth, acne-free face, my face is just still so, so red. It drives me nuts. 
so it might be rosacea it might not I'm not sure but I did use it underneath my makeup today and I did not have to use nearly as much foundation normally in my nose and like my right under my nose and on like my cheeks right here I feel like I have to use quite a bit of foundation just to cover the redness which in result leaves me pretty cakey quickly when I put it on this morning I was like holy crap my face is green it's not gonna, it's not gonna cover I hardly had to use any foundation on my nose and cheek area I was so pumped so so far I've only used it one time but so far this is a win so the last few products I did get from ColourPop.com. The first few items I did get are the Super Shock Shadows. That is such a tongue twister for me. So I did get the shade Waddles. It's kind of a dusty beige pink. Super pretty. Has a little sheen to it. Really like this. It is the shade Flower Shop. It's kind of a blue-green color with like a gold pearly finish over it. Oh, I feel like this is going to be so pretty. I'm so excited to use this. And lastly, I did get the shade Oon. It's kind of a soft champagne color, and it is a metallic finish, so I would use this all over the lid. So I'm excited to try this out. And then I did get four lip products. I got three lippy sticks and one ultra satin lip. The ultra satin lip that I did get is the new Kathleen Lights collab with ColourPop. It is in the shade Alyssa. It is what I'm wearing on my lips today, and I feel like on her, she's pretty fair, and I feel like the shade looked really pink, but I feel like on me, I don't feel like on me it looks very pink at all. But I still like it. I don't, you know, I don't dislike it at all. But I just don't feel like it was as pink as I was expecting. But I also did get the shade Lumiere by her as well. It's kind of a dusty mauve pink color. Super pretty. I like it a ton. Also, I did get the shade Pillow Talk. Normally not a shade I would go for. But I like it. It's kind of a mid-tone grayish brown color i like it it's cute i feel like it'll be a good fall time color and then last i did get the shade lbb i think it stands for a little black no i can't remember but it's called lbb <laughs> it is like a rich plum wine color i really like this again a good fall time color and so yeah, i'm super excited to try out my color pop lippies and also the super shock shadows I'm excited to try them out haven't tried any of those products out Oh my gosh, I think we're finally done. We are done. That completes my makeup haul of all of the makeup that I've collected over the past couple weeks. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. So again, thank you so much for watching and spending a few minutes of your day with me. I really, really appreciate it and hope you guys have a great day. Bye.